welcome back to Fred in the Shed 2 or in this case Fred in the Garage 2 and yeah just gonna muck about with the car I've got a few little jobs to catch up on on the old Ibiza I've um, been playing about with the brakes trying to cure a brake squeal we're not sure if that's cured at the moment that I'm making this video but uh, what I will say which is now what does it say the 18th of March and all over the news is this CV19 coronavirus thing. Um, it's quite worrying. A lot of businesses are going into shutdown. My wife, she's uh, they're planning next week to work from home, which is she can do that. Um, I don't know if they're going to be shutting the schools. I've got two 87-year-old parents that are kind of like on self-isolation now for their own protection at home. So trying to be, uh, be running a little bit of food and supplies out to them my job will stay open we will become like the third or fourth emergency service so yeah just doing a few things on the car I'll try to take my mind off it to be honest because it is kind of worrying and every time you get a little cough and a sneeze you worry yourself so anyway a little job that's been annoying me on this car for quite a few months now and this is the water screen reservoir now what happens is you fill it up with uh, screen wash and then after a couple of weeks it's, it's, it's out, it's run out again. Now normally that, that would have lasted me possibly a couple of months but now a couple of weeks it runs out and I've noticed that down by the front by the spoiler there there's been a small little drip of water or, caught, or screen wash. You can sort of smell it, you can tell it's screen wash and that's, so there's a small leak in that bottle somewhere now when they design these cars and it's, it's the same for pretty much all modern cars the screen wash bottle is a weird thing it, it kind of it's almost like it was an afterthought i'm sure it wasn't but it kind of goes down inside the inner wing there and it twists and it turns when you look on ebay which i have done if you want it's a weird looking monstrosity of a bottle but that means that they've built everything around it the headlight unit the battery tray I suppose the air box is okay so to take the bottle out it's quite a major job you're talking on this car and it's going to be the same for a lot of cars you've got to take the whole front bumper off I'm not sure about the headlight unit but that's quite a lot of work um, that's probably more than I really want to get into to be honest these these bumpers I've taken not this car but I've taken them off before to, just to change headlight bulbs which I think is ridiculous and you've got a lot of plastic little clips and they're very easy to snap and uh, makes the putting the whole thing back on quite difficult so another approach is that this water bottle comes down here below the uh, bumper so i'm going to have a go at trying to go in from the wheel here there's a plastic wheel liner that goes around with the wheel, wheel arch liner that i'll have to remove so we're going to take the wheel off and then i'm hoping that it might just be a split pipe or something something i can repair and hopefully the bottle is not split itself and that's what i'm going to be doing today i've got other jobs lined up as well I've got some oil down there this is defender manol defender oil got some good reviews on amazon 10w40 and we've got a new bosch oil filter as well so i will be changing the oil on the ib just a little tip as i'm going along uh, modern cars have got lots of these little plastic pegs that hold trim panels on both on the outside of the car and also a lot of on the inside get yourself a pair of these trim removal this trim removal tool what happens here is you just simply slide this under a little peg there and squeeze and pop it out it, it's much better than trying to go at this with a flat bladed screwdriver because you end up breaking the clips and snapping a few off so it's only about five quid on ebay absolute godsend for taking off plastic trim clips well this is a bit odd it's not what i expected to see to be honest so here's the Hot, the water bottle and he said hot water bottle and yeah it's full of fluid it's full of screen wash there does seem to be I don't know you're not the camera's not going to pick it up but it does seem to be signs of residue here where it may have been leaking but it's it's holding fluid so I'm a bit lost I really expected this to be split or something definitely it was definitely running out but uh, no, it all seems to be working it's a bit odd <laughs> well, it's good because I haven't really got to do anything but 
you know what it's like when you expect to find a problem so I don't know maybe as I say there is signs of leakage there definitely it's all very so maybe it's a slightly intermittent leak but at the moment it's completely dry so okay if it ain't broke don't fix it wheel lining off yeah so maybe we'll just carry on with that and leave it I think while I've, I'm here other than the oil change let me just spin you around sorry about the uh, spinning now I think I will clean up and repaint this front caliper get it back to its original red I think I've still got the Seat transfers or some of them anyway but this is all looking a little bit crusty I've had a new caliper on the other side this is the original so I think maybe do a little bit of cosmetic work while I'm here so I cleaned up the caliper best I can it's a little bit rusty at the back but the front has still got its coating on and yeah I'm gonna get some caliper paint on that and give it a coat of paint I think it'll look look a lot better so that's the caliper painted up I think it came out okay I'll do you a couple of stills on the other camera because uh, it comes out better on the other camera but yeah I'm quite pleased with that I think that's uh, cleaned that up really nicely certainly uh, looks a little bit better so it used to look anyway little decals on there so that's that done and then now currently just draining out the oil and uh, yeah once a year do the old oil change if regardless of miles and does about 3,000 miles a year this car but and one thing I do like about this particular car is when it comes to the oil filter it's dead easy just this little sort of tube here in the front of the engine so you can uh, don't have to sort of get your hands all messy and dirty my filter ready to go in with a new seal and yeah, it just goes in like a cartridge really it's quite a good idea I'm surprised uh, not many other manufacturers do it but yeah that just fits in there and then that does up with a big socket that's the easy bit done and the hard bit is getting underneath it and getting the uh, under tray back on with loads and loads of little screws <laughs> that's a little bit uh, back breaking laying under the car but we're getting there we're getting there this wheel liner oh, it's come out easier than it's going to go back in i think you have to sort of fight with it a little bit so if i remember rightly try not to scratch me new painted caliper but yeah i mean it's gonna, this is going to be one of those jobs that uh, yeah came out in about two minutes and it's going to take about 20 minutes of fighting to get it back in and that's it that's all done caliper painted it always looks better when the caliper's painted i know it's an old car but you've got to try and look after the old girl that water bottle was a bit of a mystery it seems to be working fine i'm not getting any drips or anything it must have self-sealed I, I don't understand that but if it ain't broke i'm not going to uh, sort of fix it so thanks for tuning in to fred in the shed or fred in the garage too really there are, is going to be another couple of car videos that i'll be putting up um, because i have been doing some work on the rear brakes of this car as well uh, we had a brake squeal that i think i've cured i'm not sure yet till i get back to work but basically I've involved, I've put on a new disc and I've put on a new sort of caliper. So yeah, I'll put that up just to sort of keep the channel channel going. Radio wise, I have been on radio most afternoons, of course, with this COVID-19 epidemic or pandemic going around. We've got guys on the radio now in self-isolation. Uh, Dave061 North St Albans is in self-isolation. I imagine that Eric in North Luton is in self-isolation. So the radio becoming really quite important for these people to obviously get on the radio and have a little bit of a chat find out what's going around in the area i mean it's a bit crazy but i did that video a while ago about a national disaster on cb and um, we're not quite there yet but uh, we're getting to that stage where people need to sort of spread information about you know unfiltered information not government information because you never know what you're being fed and uh, yeah starting talking about it 
So uh, I'll end this video on a serious note. I always tell you to stay safe, and I do mean that, but I really do especially mean it this time, as I say, with the coronavirus going around. Um, in the UK here, and I'm sure it's the same in all your countries, it looks like we're going into a shut lockdown situation. The schools will be closed until further notice on Friday, other than key workers that need their kids to be looked after. The trains and tube tubes are being shut down also at the weekend. I think the buses are still running. You're being advised not to travel unless you absolutely have to. As I mentioned earlier, the missus will be probably working from home next week. I will carry on working. We'll become the fourth emergency service. And yeah, everything's getting quite sort of serious. So yeah, the message is, is really sort of stay safe, stay healthy. Try not to sort of, you know, socialise too, well, socialise too much. Try and sort of look after yourselves. And think, just think of other people, you know, it might be that, for example, in your street or something there might be the little old lady or the little old man lives on their own and they're having to self-isolate so if you're going going shopping to get try and get some supplies what there is because all the shelves are being cleared but maybe you know just knock on their door take a few steps back and see if you can help them out maybe get them a pint of milk some bread or newspaper you know um, if they smoke some tobacco or something like that and yeah just just everyone needs to help each other out we'll get through this i mean we you know we, we've got through things like this before not in my lifetime but we have done it and if we all pull together we will get definitely get through it um but as i say just sort of try and spare a thought for the elderly obviously your relatives stuff like that that's what we're all going to be doing now and to see if you can help help each other out so that's my sort of final message a little bit so sobering uh, as i say a couple of more videos are coming up with fred too but as for now as always Cheers, your view time, always most welcome. Thank you for spending the time with me. Stay safe, and of course, I will catch you all on the next one. Cheers.